When Captain John Smith and other Englishmen arrived on the coast of America, he noticed a picturesque place where he decided to unload his 108 passengers. There he established the first permanent British settlement in America. They chose Jamestown Island because thanks to the excellent visibility up and down the river, it could easily be defended from the other European powers that were conquering the New World. Early in the morning of May 14, 1607, they took into their possession the promised land, America. Discovery of the New World, uh, North and South America and the Caribbean, uh, beginning with Columbus, opened up this whole area for uh, investment. It brought a tremendous amount of wealth uh, to Europe. Well, the British were competing with Spain, uh, and they were seeking uh, wealth, obviously. Jamestown was really the first significant British outpost in the New World. Uh, it was the first one that lasted. It was the beginning of the British colonies uh, in North America. The Jamestown colony was really uh, a beginning experiment, and it was an experiment in a land that was relatively hostile. The climate was hot. The uh, waterways and the swamps in the area around Jamestown had a lot of mosquitoes and diseases. It was very difficult for the original settlers, however, to establish the colony. There were a uh, number of them who did not really have any skills for the work that was needed. There was additional problem in that the, there was a, a conflict with the local native community, uh, the Powhatan Confederacy. The colony very quickly began to run out of resources. The leader, John Smith, was, was a very capable leader. John Smith uh, was a, quite a remarkable fellow. As a very young fellow, maybe a teenager, uh, he went off to, to fight he was a soldier against the Turks. He was actually captured, enslaved, he escaped, and he got back to England through Poland. Surprisingly, England and Poland at that time were closely connected, with as many as 30,000 English, Scottish, and Irish living and working in Poland, and about 1,000 Poles living in London. They even had their own street, Poland Street. Poland in 1608 was quite a different country. The king of Poland at that time was looking to become even Tsar of Russia. That's how powerful and how significant Poland was at that time. Queen Elizabeth I had uh, granted a monopoly to the British Eastland Company to establish a trading post in Elblong. The first year of the Jamestown colony, quite a few of the settlers died from famine and from disease. Uh, we're told that within the first 18 months or so, uh, over half of the entire initial contingent of, of colonists had died. Zbigniew Stefanski wrote about this historic moment. After a long journey and extreme suffering, we saw birds. And soon after, we saw the land. On October 1st, 1608, five Polish settlers arrived in Jamestown aboard the Mary and Margaret. I fell on my knees, offering prayers to Almighty God. The, the Poles were brought over to, uh, to create products that the British needed, but also to create potentially products that the, uh, that the Indians would want, that then could be traded for food. Uh, and of course, uh, the, there was the possibility of creating some local industries. Polish settler Zbigniew Stefanski recorded this impression of Jamestown. Seldom had one seen such lack of resourcefulness as we found in Virginia. Not even a spoonful of drinking water was to be found in the fort. The people here marveled when we dug a well and presented it to them. They were the ones who established the first factory, a glass blowing factory, and they traded with Indians their uh, glass objects for goods from the Indians. In 1608, Captain John Smith became president, and his leadership kept the colony from dissolving. He enforced strict discipline. Those who would not work should not eat, he declared. Smith was very favorable toward the Poles. Uh, he saw them as a very valuable asset to the community, and he treated them in this way. 
To stop disorder caused by unruly thieves and the Indians, the Poles built a stronger blockhouse the Poles built a glass furnace, which became the first American factory. Zbigniew Stefanski wrote, under my personal supervision, several furnaces were built for the production of glass. Glass products became the first American products exported to Europe. Captain John Smith deeply respected the Poles, not only for their excellent craftsmanship, but also for their bravery, and he regarded them as indispensable to the survival of their new colony. Only a few months after their arrival, an English ship sailed back to Europe carrying a full line of samples, which contained glass products and a cargo of planks, pitch, and tar. Smith uh, was near a stream uh, and was attacked by, uh, by a local Indian warrior. We heard Smith's desperate cry, Polonians, Polonians. Realizing that our captain was in great danger, Bogdan and I picked up our daggers and we ran as fast as we could toward the river. But from some distance we could see that there was only one attacker, a huge man, the tribal chief himself. And this is interesting because, you know, a lot of the uh, stories about Jamestown deal with how Pocahontas, this little Indian girl, saved John Smith's life. One of the Indian at least was stopped from killing John Smith by these two poles. Initially, the Indians were obviously somewhat curious about who these, who these Europeans were there. Early on, uh, a conflict began to emerge. And we know that Matthew was killed in a subsequent Indian attack. One of the problems the English uh, colonists, well, all of the colonists, ran into was food. They went through a particularly difficult winter. Only 60 of the original settlers survived the 1609 starving time winter. After the starving time and the deaths of so many of the colonists, uh, Lord Delaware arrived with additional colonists and supplies and pumped new life. Poles kept arriving in the following years. Among them were members of the Polish gentry, former country squires, who besides being of the intellectual class, were well acquainted with the methods of production needed at the time in Jamestown. They were not given the same political rights. We have to remember that many of these Poles came from the, the Commonwealth in which uh, they were, significant political rights were being granted to members of the lower gentry. The local leaders there, the English, decided not to allow the Poles, and I would guess other foreign-born people, to be able to vote for their representatives. The Polish workers staged the first strike in America, not for higher wages or better working conditions, but for civil rights and inclusion in the political process. The Poles are granted their rights, uh, but they recognize that the Poles have very valuable skills. Poles arrive in the New World with a sense that they, that they have some innate dignity. This dignity should be respected by the English, but they came from a culture that, uh, which political rights were granted to individuals much more readily than in many places in Europe at the time. The Poles are present at the birth. Uh, they're perhaps the, the midwives of this new age that's, that's becoming Zbigniew Stefanski, who after 13 years left Virginia, wrote, Bogdan and Anna remained in Virginia. Also, other Poles did not find any reason to seek livelihood elsewhere. Bogdan already owned a tobacco plantation. Others established profitable enterprises. A desire to become rich got into their blood, and for that reason, they decided to remain. The arrival of, of these Poles indicates how well integrated Poland was into the, to the uh, European and world economic system at the time. And the bigger story is the need for Poles and Polish Americans, and of course for Americans and for others alike, to begin to give more attention to the contributions that Poles have made to the United States and really even to the world. Poles, therefore, 
seem to have come to this land of the free as early as they did by sheer will of providence, not only to save Virginia, but also to lay the cornerstone for the present plural society.